Hey guys, it's Kristen here with Find Your Balance Dog Training. I am out with Benny. This is our third walk since his drop off on Sunday. And he is already doing a fantastic job learning about the remote collar heel, the structured leash walk, how to be calm, tuned in, non-reactive. Because one of the very first things that I did with this guy was address that reactivity by correcting mental arousal. So mental arousal is the state of mind that precipitates the reactive behaviors. So it's when the dog is loading up on triggers. Remy is a super, super anxious, very reactive little dog. So he was like pretty much always teetering on the edge of reactivity and then the smallest thing would set him off. So we're always gonna keep that in check address that stuff and then just pattern, calm mindset, polite obedience commands, handler focus, tuning in, all the great stuff that we want him to adopt as his new habits um, and not slide back into his old bad habits. Something I will mention though guys is that just because we teach the dogs great new behaviors, mindsets, and skills and training doesn't mean that they've forgotten all the bad ones. Those are still there. It's up to you, the handlers, the owners, to make sure that you hold your dogs accountable for the new stuff, the new wonderful, good, calm, polite, obedient stuff, and do not let them slip back into their old bad habits. Because if you're not doing your work, holding your dogs accountable, the dog can't do his work. He won't. Um, keep practicing his new habits because the old habits are so much stronger. They've literally been doing that for years. So super important guys, accountability, consistency, and uh, daily grind and work. There is no shortcut. There is no easy way around it. It's just a consistent effort of hard work day after day after day.